Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 3-18 that is taken from chapter number 3, Mechanical Properties of Materials. And book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is attention test was performed on a magnesium alloy specimen having 0.5 inch diameter and gauge length of 2 inch. The resulting stress strain diagram is shown in figure. If the specimen is stressed to 30 ksi and unloaded, determine the permanent elongation in the specimen. So you can see this is stress strain diagram for magnesium alloy clear and uh, we have to find the uh, permanent elongation clear if it is stressed to 30 ksi and then load, unload it. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that we will find the modulus of elasticity E approximate using this stress strain diagram so how you will find this so you can see this is the stress strain diagram and this is elastic limit so in this elastic limit if you look at this point so this this is the stress let this is 13 and here it is 0 so 13 minus 0 divided by strain at this point strain is 0 0.002 0 0.002 minus original strain is again zero so when you solve this you will get modulus of elasticity is equal to 6.50 into 10 to the power 3 ksi okay now we have find this we, you can see that uh, it is given that for 30 kilo newton uh, 30 ksi load so it is loaded to 30 ksi so again at this load the strain will be 0 0.0078 and after it is unloaded it comes back but it will not be uh, it will not come to its original position and it will have certain strain so how you will find that strain that is what we call permanent elongation so let me write it permanent elongation so from stress strain diagram from stress strain diagram the strain the strain recovered strain recovered is along the straight line straight line BC BC which is parallel to which is parallel to straight line OA we can find this permanent strain how you will find this let this is point o this is a and this is b clear so permanent deformation will be equal to you can see at point b we have 0, 0.0 which is total strain so which is 0 0.0078 so again when you release this load of 30 ksi clear it will not come back to original position but it will ha we have certain strain so how we'll find that certain strain that can be obtained by using the load 30 ksi so 30 into 10 to power 3 over the modulus of elasticity which is 6.50 into 10 to power 3 clear and that will give you the permanent strain in that object and that is 0 0.00318 inch per inch so what does it mean it means that let this is 0 0.00318 so after removing this 30 ksi load it will come back to this and you can see this line this is point c so this line bc is parallel to the initial line of stress strain diagram and there will be a permanent strain will remain in this uh, material so I will also write it over here that this will be the permanent strain epsilon p. This will be epsilon 
P. Now you can see that we know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original length. So for permanent strain, this permanent strain will be equal to permanent length divided by original length. So we are interested to find out the permanent elongation. So permanent elongation is equal to per permanent strain into original length. So permanent strain is 0 0.00318 and original length or gauge length is 2 inch. So we will multiply this 2 and you will get the permanent elongation. And that permanent elongation will be 0 0.00318. Double zero six three seven inch, which is the answer of our this question. So this will be the permanent elongation in the in the originally gauge length of two inch uh, magnesium alloy specimen. And that was all about this problem 3-18. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. Also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel further. And if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.